great stories can be made out of anything. I anticipate all the great stories you are bringing to Vanderbilt and all the great stories you will live at Vanderbilt. Hi, I'm Alice Randall, faculty head of Stambaugh House. I'm excited about the book, College, uh, and this is our reading for this year. And this book has a particular importance to me because when I arrived at college over 30 years ago, Andy Del Banco was actually a TA at Harvard University when I was an undergraduate there. And so my first thing I say is I welcome you to the Vanderbilt Ingram Commons is be prepared to be surprised. Education is a series of surprises. I arrived on the Harvard campus in 1977, just absolutely certain I was going to be a psychiatrist. And I speak to you all these years later as a uh, published author of four different novels that my journey changed. And that's one of the things that a college allows you to do. I took a Shakespeare class, actually, just to fill out my schedule. And that class ended up starting off a whole new life's journey for me. Now, you may actually enter as someone who wants to be pre-med and be a psychiatrist and exit as someone who's on their way to medical school, but that's not always the case. What is almost always the case is if you make a great use of this time on this great campus is you will discover for yourself what is profound learning. And to me, that is really at the heart of the college experience, to define for yourself the nature of the truth, the nature of academic inquiry, the nature of learning on and off campus in groups and alone, reading and writing, consuming and creating knowledge. What are the good questions? You will each have a different answer for that. But each of you has questions that only you can ask and only you can answer. And those questions will be at the heart of your college experience. One idea that appeals to me is that everyone's college experience is an unwritten novel. It has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end, and there is a lot of dramatic tension. When you're writing a novel, you always want to put your character under a certain degree of stress with a lot of choices to make and see what they make of those choices. College brings with it extraordinary opportunity. What I love about this campus, why I want to live on this campus, is there is no place on earth richer than a college campus. It's rich in people, this college, is, this university campus is rich in diverse people. It's rich in material resources of the most significant kind, books, laboratories. It's rich in actual fellowships that allow you to travel off this campus around the world. It is profoundly rich. You will perhaps never be in a circumstances with as many resources at your disposal as you are during this college experience. So the question is, which of these resources will you make use of? And how well will you engage them? How much of your own intelligence, how much of your own industry will you bring to these days and hours? And what will define how much of this great place you will take away with you? I think and trust that every one of you will bring a best self to this campus and as a result, we'll take away a best experience. One of the things you will learn in and out of the classroom is how to get the best out of others and how to get the best out of yourself. That is, to me, a significant key of the college experience. And my role as a faculty head of house is to be a profound cheerleader and coach and catalyst encouraging you to keep on your adventure, to seize the, all the resources that are uniquely available to you in this time and support you as you determine what you uniquely want to make out of this experience as you write towards by living your happy ending of the four-year college experience. I wouldn't be a novelist and an English professor and a uh, African-American diaspora studies member of the department if I did not point out that one of the things that's exciting about this 
is the novel of the college experience is an integral, integral part of American literature. It goes back to the days of Hawthorne, um, Fanshawe, Hawthorne's novel in the 1820s was perhaps the first great novel of this. But even more recently, we have Zadie Smith on beauty that talks about the American college experience, university experience, but puts it in the frame of the international novel written by a woman of color. So everyone's college experience has a discrete beginning, middle, and end. The beginning is often the arrival on campus, or it's the receipt of that wonderful letter saying you can be a member of a Vanderbilt class, and the ending is traditionally graduation. One of the things that intrigues me most about the middle is that moment when you discover what you understand profound learning to be. That's a mystery. Where will you find it? And it's exciting that you're on that first step, the entry into this rich space with so many different answers to that one simple question. What is true learning? What is the nature of the truth? And how will we discover it?